Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to fix out the issue with your network adapter. Whenever you troubleshoot, you got the error of Windows could not find a driver for your network adapter or install a driver for your network adapter. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and directly proceed with the resolution. First of all, in the basic step, head over to settings menu, choose Windows update and if any update is pending at your end, click on the option download and install to make your operating system up to date. Next, please scroll down and click on the option advanced options. Here click on optional updates and under the driver update, expand it and tick mark both the options and click on the option download and install to make your operating system up to date. Sometimes simply updating your windows fix out the issue with your drivers which help you fix out the issue of windows could not find a driver for your network adapter. Now the thing is you cannot connect to the internet. So to do so click on the option network and internet and from here you can use your mobile hotspot to connect your system with the internet and then in turn update your windows PC to fix out the issue. Next is right click on start menu and choose the option done. Type here services.msc and then hit the enter key. Here press the W key to find WLAN auto config. Here it is. Double click to open it. If the service status is top, click on the start option to start the service at once and in startup type from the drop down list choose the option automatic. Hit apply and ok button. Now go ahead and troubleshoot again to fix out the issue of windows could not find a driver for your network adapter. If this failed to work out, again open run command by right clicking on start menu and choose the option run. This time type here ncpa.cpl and then hit the enter key. Sometimes your Wi-Fi or Ethernet driver is turned off right from here. So what you need to do is to right click on it and choose the option enable if it is disabled or else if it is already disabled like it is showing right over here then click on the option disable. Once it is disabled again right click and choose the option enable. Wait for a few seconds and hopefully this will fix out the issue of Windows could not find a driver for your network adapter. If this also failed, let's proceed with the next step. Right click on start menu and choose the option device manager. From here, you need to expand your network adapter. Whatever your network adapter is present. For example, at my end, this Realtek adapter is my Wi-Fi adapter. You need to right click on it and choose the option disable device. Hit the yes button. Once it is disabled, again right click and choose the option enable. Once it is done, wait for a few seconds until this globe icon again turned into the Wi-Fi connection. If this doesn't fix the issue of Windows could not find a driver for your network adapter, in next step, right click on it and choose the option properties. Here click on the power management tab and uncheck this particular option, allow the computer to turn off this device. And next is click on the driver tab and choose the option update driver. Choose second option browse my computer for drivers and again choose second option let me pick from the list of available drivers. From here select the latest driver and click on the next button to continue installing the latest drivers onto your system and hopefully this will surely fix out the issue of windows could not find a driver for your network adapter. Now if this method also failed to work out let's proceed with the next step. In next step you need to update your drivers manually. To do so, again right click and choose option properties. Here click on this details tab and in the property type from the drop down list choose the option hardware id. Now copy the very first value, open up your browser and paste the value as it is and then hit the enter key. This will provide you a relevant drivers and I suggest you to download these drivers only from the official website. For example, if I scroll down. This Lenovo is the official website of Lenovo. So I'll go ahead and open this particular link and download these drivers right from this official website by clicking on this option which is download and then double click to run these drivers to install it in your system. However, this process is pretty lengthy and you must be a pro user to proceed with this step. So in order to minimize your hard work, I have a website with the name driveridentifier.com. 
I'll share the link of this website in the description of this video. All you need to do is to scroll down and click on the option download driver identifier. Save it into desktop. Once it is downloaded, click on this play option and choose the option continue download. Once it is downloaded, click on it, install this program into your system and hit the finish button. Now close it. Now the driver identifier has opened up automatically. From here you need to do is to simply click on the option scan now. If you do not have an internet connection, you can choose the second option which is I don't have an internet connection so that it will provide you a relevant driver download link so that you can use that particular link by using someone else PC to download the relevant drivers for your system. I will click on the option scan now. Now you can see it has provided a list of all the drivers which needs to update in my system. From here scroll down. And under the net, you will find the option of Realtek adapter. Click on the option update. Again scroll down. And you can see it has provided the download link right from the official website of your driver. For example, my laptop is of HP. Then you can see the very first link it has provided is from the HP website. I will go ahead and click on the option download. Again scroll down and click on the option download from HP. Click on the option click here to download from manufacturer server. And you can see the driver is just downloaded. Go ahead and run this file. Accept the terms and conditions. And you can see the latest drivers are downloaded and installed in my system. After that don't forget to restart your PC. Once you restart your PC, the issue of Windows could not find a driver for your network adapter will be completely fixed out. So as of now, this is all about it friends. If this video works out for you, I request you to please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel. Thank you so much friends. Thank you for watching.